All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today we're going over Facebook Canvas ads, um, how to use them, how to create them, how to use them in your marketing campaigns, and how to use them on your page. Um, so to get started, the first thing I kind of want to go over is the different type of ad objectives you can use when you're using Canvas ads. So you can't use them for like page-like campaigns and certain things like that. These are the only type of campaigns you could use them for. So traffic, brand awareness, reach, engagement, conversions, video views, and store visits. And depending on the... Um, you know, objective that you choose for your campaign, your Canvas ad in Facebook is going to be geared uh, to complete more of that objective. So if you're bidding for reach, then it's going to try to put your Canvas out to the most people as possible. If you're bidding for traffic, uh, they're going to try to get you app engagement and website clicks. If you're bidding for conversions, they're going to try to get people to go to your website and, you know, make a sale or things like that. Video views, obviously, they're going to be focused on driving video views for you. So the Canvas so you can upload your Canvas ad with um, you know, different links to different pages, different videos, but the objective that you choose in Facebook is going to optimize for your Canvas ad depending on that objective. So that's just something to keep in mind as you're creating Canvas ads. Um, to get started, what we're going to do is uh, you want to open your Facebook page here. And the first thing you want to do is click at the top and click on Publishing Tools. Um, so we've already opened it and we have it on this page over here. So you want to click on Publishing Tools. And it's automatically going to pull up posts and some of your published posts and things like that. What you want to do is click on Canvas in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, and you should see a page like this. If you haven't created any Canvas ads yet, it'll be empty here at the bottom. We've only created one. Um, so what we're going to do here is click on Create to create a new Canvas ad. So you can get started with some of the different layouts and templates. If you click on Layouts here, um, they show some of the different things you can do. So get new customers, showcase your business, sell products. Basically, they're going to have Canvas templates that are geared towards whatever you're, uh, whatever you're trying to do. So if you're trying to get new customers, it's going to have more of a mobile landing page that makes people want to take action. If you're trying to showcase your business, it's going to be more focused on carousel, um, on engaging type of components within the Canvas ad. Um, but what we're going to do is come up here and just click on Component. Um, one thing you can do is click on some examples, tips and best practices to kind of get started. We're going to go through some of that here, um, but I always like looking at different examples, especially look at examples within your industry. You know, it's going to vary for marketing, for travel, you know, for maybe a retail store. It really depends on what you're trying to advertise, the way your Canvas ad is going to look. Um, but we're going to start with component here. Um, so these are some of the different components you can add to your Canvas ad. So for us, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a header. Uh, so I like to start with a header. I like to have a logo up there, um, basically just to introduce your brand and things like that. Um, you could also name your canvas here. So we're just going to do, you know, PPC. Okay, so we're just going to be, we're going to try to get new PPC clients for Google AdWords, Bing Ads, and Facebook. Um, so we come here to settings. You can set your theme. So if you want a darker theme, you can set a dark theme. Um, your canvas ad is going to automatically change over here uh, as you change things around. So we're just going to do a regular theme here. Um, you could do swipe to open final link. That's going to stay on automatically. And we can support Instagram here. So if you do Instagram, it'll automatically show on Instagram too. Um, so again, <clears throat> it's going to show an issue here when you do Instagram here. Um, but just don't worry about that. Um, so for the header, uh, they recommend an 882 by 66, which is a really weird format. But okay, so we're going to upload our logo here. Uh, the size they recommend is 882 by 66, which is obviously a pretty weird size for a logo. Um, but we just put our logo right in the center. So I'll upload it now and show you. Okay, so you can see the logo very small up here at the top. It'll look a little better on a mobile screen. Um, it'll look bigger when it's on a mobile screen than it does here. It just looks really small on desktop. Um, so background color, we leave white. You could do opacity. You could change this. Um, opacity basically has to do with transparency. Um, so now we have our header here. Um, this is going to change automatically. You can flip back between Facebook and Instagram. We're going to keep adding components here. So the components you add really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. Um, so with photos, it's good to have a big engaging photo when you're there because... The old, when people open up your Canvas ad, so they're going to click on your ad and it opens up a Canvas, a full screen mobile experience. So think about that. So when you're opening up something with your mobile phone, what are you trying to look at? Definitely something visual, definitely something, you know, that's interesting and engaging. So that's really what you want to do with your Canvas ad. So for us, we're going to start with a photo here. Um, this is kind of describe what we're trying to accomplish here. Um, so you can do adjust your layout so they have fit to width so linkable um, I always use fit to width so it fits to the phone no matter what um, fit to width so this lets people um, use full screen and zoom and kind of adjust the image as they see fit and this one will allow people to rotate the image side to side we're just gonna keep it fit to width fits it it's the best uh, in my opinion um, they recommend image widths of what uh, 1080 pixels so that's kind of what you want to upload so we're gonna upload our photo now 
Okay, so we're going to start our Canvas ad basically describing to people that we want to show them how to improve their marketing results. So we're putting improve your marketing results, contact Surfside PPC today for help, and we're going to focus specifically on Google AdWords, Bing ads, and Facebook ads. So if someone opens up this ad, they see improve your marketing results, they can actually just click on this right now, and I can send them to a page where I would do surfsideppc.com, and I could just do contact us. Maybe I want to send them to a page about how to, you know, basically how to improve their marketing results. So I could do, you know, improve your marketing, something like that. That also has a contact us link on it. So people can go look at it, improve your marketing results. We can show them how we're going to do it. And then they contact us through it. So let's just assume we're going to use this page to send them to our page. Um, so what we could do is add another component. Maybe we want to add a button here. So I want people to look at this. Maybe they, I want to add a button, click OK. And we'll just do, you know, improve your marketing results today okay so now this button will send them to the same page up here so we're going to copy it improve your marketing you definitely want to add tracking to your url so we go over this in some of our other video tutorials use the google url builder and you can actually track your url right into the google analytics um, so <clears throat> button color so this will adjust basically what color the button is uh, right now we have it set to border so we could do fill so now our button's black instead of uh, white and we can change our text up here to white so now we have a black button. results, contact Surfside PPC today for help. Maybe I want to change my button color to green so it stands out a little more. Eh, it kind of looks too similar to the... All right, so we'll use a blue button here, so this works. So now we have our logo up here, improve your marketing results, improve your marketing... Eh, I spelt it wrong. Improve your marketing results today. So now let's add another component. So maybe someone's like, I'm not really sure if I want to do this. I'm not sure if I even know how it works with Surfside PPC. So let me add a video. So we're going to add a video here. Uh, so as people scroll, the video is going to play. Um, again, you can adjust this if you want. Um, we just, I always do fit to width. Um, now we're going to upload our video here. Okay, so our video uploaded here. Now our video just says, how does PPC management work with Surfside PPC? So people who might look at this and say, ah, I'm not sure if I want to you know, go with this company, they can see a quick video here. Uh, so they recommend keeping videos under two minutes in length and also using captions so that people can still engage without audio. Um, so those are two things to definitely keep in mind. Um, add, you can add captions to your video um, and then you also want to use shorter videos in general. That's usually just a best practice. Um, we make a lot of long videos at Surfside PPC, but if I were to advertise them, people aren't as interested as if they're actually seeking them out. So so we have our video here. It's gonna You're going to see it kind of keep playing. So. Um, what we can do now is I just want to show you some cool little tricks that we can do. So let's say you're done working on a component here. So we have our video component. Let's say you could just click on these and collapse all of them so you don't have to worry about, you know, having these huge. So now you can see settings, header, photo, button, video. Now let's say I'm creating this and I say, you know, I don't like the video being down here. If you just click on this, you know, the dots on the side, you could put it right below the header. You could put it up, you know, anywhere you want. I don't think you put anything above the header. Um, but now we have this, improve your marketing results. So you can move things around as you see fit. Um, definitely something to keep in mind. So you can just create components. You don't have to keep deleting them if you don't have it in the right spot. If you have a component you don't want, maybe I want to get rid of this button. You just click on the three dots here, click delete. Um, so just some different options you have. Uh, so now what we're going to do is click on add component again. So we have how does PPC management work with Surfside PPC. What I want to do next is add a carousel to show some of the different you know services that we have. Um, so we're going to add some photos here. Okay, so we've added some photos here in our carousel. So our first one's going to be Google AdWords. Our second one says Bing Ads. Our third one says Facebook. So coming back to Google AdWords, uh, with the carousel, what you can do is just send them to a destination with different all the different cards in your carousel. So let's do surfsideppc.com. Maybe I have a page for Google AdWords. Google AdWords management. Okay, so now we'll come over to Bing Ads. And we'll just adjust this URL so it just says Bing Ads Management instead of Google AdWords. And we'll come over to Facebook Ads and do the same thing with Facebook Ads. So now we would send people to each different pages on our website. But one of the things with the carousel is you're, it's not always described that well here. So there's two things I want to do is put some things around my carousel so that people know exactly what they're looking for. So we're going to add another component and use text here. So we'll click OK. And I want to actually put the text above my carousel. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Okay, so we entered some, entered some text here above, and it says Surfside PPC is a team of experts that can manage and optimize your Google AdWords, Bing Ads, and Facebook Ads campaigns. Choose the service below that you're most interested in Surfside PPC managing. So now we have our different 
services here. So we have Google AdWords, we have Bing ads, and we have Facebook ads. So when people click on it, they're going to actually come to this page. So this page should describe to them, you know, what we do when we do Facebook ads, and then an option to contact us and learn more. Um, so now we have our text up here. We're going to close both of these and we're going to add a button now. So we take a last thing we're going to add is a button here. Um, so destination required. So we're just going to do contact us. And what we can do is do fix the bottom. So it's always going to stay fixed to the bottom of our carousel. Um, so I like to do that because then you always have a button here. Um, and if someone's coming in, maybe they don't see your contact us button all the way at the bottom of the carousel. So if we just have it fixed to the bottom of the carousel, then when people are scrolling through, it's always going to be there. Um, so we're just going to have the button kind of match the other one. Blue color here. And we have contact us. Our background color is going to be white. I like using fill. And we'll change this up here to white. So close. So now we have our button down here. Um, we have our carousel right here. So you can see the three dots so people can actually scroll through like using their phone. Picture someone with a phone. Um, we scroll up. We could see our text here. So Surfside PPC is a team of experts. Uh, you could also add like another image down there if you want to just use an image instead of text. Sometimes uh, using something more visual works better. Uh, we have our video right here. Uh, we have a button here for people to improve their marketing results and then a, a main call to action at the top. So we have our carousel all done now. So I can keep adding things to it if I want, but I like the way it looks. You can see how Contact Us looks. It's it's always at the bottom here. So I'd want to make my buttons the same color, but I'm not even worried about it right now. So what we're going to do is click on Save. All right, so now it's all saved. So if we scroll through one more time, we can see exactly what it looks like. So pretty self-explanatory. We're going to click on Finish now. So it's going to say, if you're finished editing your canvas, you can complete your ad and place an order. You can access and edit this canvas in Ads Manager, Power Editor, and your Pages Publishing Tool. So, we're, so understand that. We click OK. And now what we're going to do is click Get URL. So if you click on Page Post, it's going to create a new page post um, for your canvas. We're not going to do that yet. I'm going to show you to do that. We're going to click Get URL. So now you see the URL here for this specific canvas. So now what we're going to do is come back to an ad ad campaign over here that we have. Um, so we have our canvas ad one here. It's just a regular campaign, a regular traffic campaign. Again, we went over all the different types of um, campaigns you can use. So traffic, brand awareness, reach, engagement, conversions, video views, and store visits. So any of those campaigns, you just create a new campaign. When you come into ads, what we're going to do is canvas ad one. We're going to click on edit. So it pulls up. And what you actually want to do is instead of clicking add a full screen canvas here, we have add with an image or video. We just want to come to the website URL and just paste that URL that the canvas ad gave us. And now it's going to pull up the canvas ad right here. So you can see Surfside PPC shared a link. It's going to use our big image here as the main image. You can actually adjust that depending on how your canvas ad looks. Um, so for your text and headline, you want something that's going to entice people to click on your canvas ad and continue to engage with it. So for our headline, what I'm going to do is Surfside PPC Management. And then I'm going to do Choose Surfside PPC as your PPC Management Company and Drive Better Results 2018. So now when people click on you know, my ad, hopefully they're able to click on it, engage with everything, and then they'll come through and contact us. Um, so you could do different things for your headline. I might do... You know, you could do contact Surfside PPC today. You kind of really want to adjust that. You can upload multiple Canvas ads and adjust your text around it. You can adjust your, you can know, multiple Canvas ads here. And that's really what you want to do. But I just kind of wanted to show you how to use Canvas ads here. Um, it's going to use the Facebook pixel just like any other campaign would. Nothing's really different except the main thing is it's a mobile only ad and it's just a, a very engaging mobile experience. So, okay, now say I just want to publish this as my new ad. All I'm going to do is click on review draft items, click confirm, and now this ad is going to go live once it confirms. Um, if we come back to our page over here, oops, our page over here, um, so this is our Facebook page. Okay, now say I want to publish this to my page. And I'm going to publish it to my page. So if you want to look at what the canvas looks like, so we come to. We're in uh, publishing tools here under Canvas. Um, so we want to add this Canvas ad. So PPC clients, AdWords, Bing, and Facebook. Um, so what we're going to do, you can click Create Page Posts here. Um, but what we're going to do is come into our page. You could just do click Share a Photo or Video, Create a Canvas, and you'll have all your canvases that you've set up here. So we're going to do PPC clients. Um, so, you know, we can. Okay, so we can update this real quick and just do, you know, something quick. Contact Surfside PPC today for more help with pay-per-click advertising. 
Okay, I'm not actually going to post this to the page because our URLs aren't perfect and it's not a great, you know, it's not actually a great Canvas ad. Um, so what I'm going to do is contact Surfside PPC today. And now our whole, it's going to have this image here automatically. And I like to just keep this image. Um, we have contact Surfside PPC today for more help with pay-per-click advertising. When we publish this, it's going to show up as a Canvas ad. So anyone's on their phone going through their mobile news feed, they just click on this and they can go through the same Canvas that I just showed you. Um, so that's exactly how Canvas ads work, how Canvas posts work. Um, it's a mobile marketing experience. It's full screen experience and it's responsive. Uh, so definitely get started with them today. Hopefully this helped you. Um, we like to create all of our Canvas ads and publishing tools, and then you can easily um, upload them into the ad section like we showed you. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, thanks for joining us today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.